So Lana, welcome back to our math lesson today. And as you can see, today we are going to discuss area of, of a trapezium. We are going to see what a trapezium is and how we can be able to calculate the area given a certain information. But before then, I just remind you what we did yesterday. Yesterday we were doing area of a parallelogram and we say a parallelogram is a, a figure that looks like this. It's a figure that looks like this, which has a perpendicular height and a baseline. Assuming this is 18 centimeters and this is 6 centimeters, we say we can be able to calculate the area of this. So the area of the uh, uh, parallelogram will be equal to uh, base length, base length, multiplied by the height. We say this is a, type, a special type of a, of a rectangle because we say it's a twisted rectangle. And therefore our area is going to be base length, base is the parallel, the parallel there's two parallel sides, 24 parallel sides like that. So this is parallel to this and equal. This is also parallel to this and equal. Assuming you are given something like 4 or 8 centimeters here. Later we don't use this landing height. We use a perpendicular height. Meaning that at that base, there is going to form a right angle. That is what we call perpendicular height. So we don't use this as the height. We only use this. So this is going to be the base length 18 centimeter times the height 6 centimeter and this is going to give us 108 centimeters square. So that is what we did yesterday Lana. Today I want us to discuss about uh, area of a trapezium and a trapezium is a figure that is made up of a rectangle a triangle. A trapezium is made up of a rectangle and a triangle and what are the, some of the characteristics that two sides two sides are parallel but they are not equal but not equal the sides are not equal but they are parallel then there's a height a perpendicular height so, if we can have one here, that figure I'm talking about looks like this. You realize that this would be the height I'm talking about. Then this side is parallel to this side. So this line and this are parallel, but they are not equal. You can see this one is longer compared to this. Then we are talking about another triangle. This is a triangle. So for us to be able to calculate the area of this trapezium, assuming this is 12 centimeters long and this is 18 centimeters long, this is maybe 6 centimeters long, because this will be equal to, now this is 4 centimeters long. If this, all of this is, is, um, is, 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 is 18, meaning that if distance from here to here is the same as distance from here to here, so 18 minus 12, the remaining part is for this extended length, which is going to be 18 minus 12, which is going to be 6 centimeters. So for us to be able to calculate this area of this particular trapezium, we are going first to get the area of the rectangle. The area of this rectangle is going to be area is equal to length times width. So our area is going to be the length the length is, uh, now we are going to consider this length, not this one, because this entails from here up to here. So we are going to have this. So this is 12 centimeter times, uh, the height is four. This height is the same as this height, perpendicular height. We're going to make a nine degrees there. So this is going to be four centimeters. And this is going to give you 48 centimeters squared. 48 centimeters squared is going to be the area of that particular rectangle and so plus the area of the triangle Lana you know how we get area of a triangle area of a triangle is given uh, by getting half 
times base times height. So this is going to be area is equal to half the base for this triangle is 6 and the height is 4. 6 times 4. This is going to give you 12 centimeters squared. So the total area of this particular uh, trapezium is going to be the area of the triangle plus the area of the rectangle. And so area of triangle is 12 centimeters squared plus the area of the rectangle which is 48 and this is going to give you 60 centimeters squared. 60 centimeters squared. So that's how you can be able to do that. But now there's a way, another way of doing this, this question here. Instead of getting the area of rectangle, adding to the area of triangle, we can be able to calculate this as a whole. So we are going to maintain our, uh, our, our, our trapezium, our shape, and see how we can be able to, uh, to get the area without separating these two shapes. So we are going to have Our trapezium intact as that, then this is going to be 4 centimeters, which is the same as here 4 centimeters. This is going to be 18 centimeters, like that. So, how can we be able to get the area of this particular uh, uh, shape without dividing it into two? So, it's simple. The formula is going to be area, uh, area is going to be a half times, this means times. A plus B, then times height. Why don't you look at that, that uh, uh, trapezium? Half times A plus B times height. The reason why I put A plus B into a, bra into a bracket is because you first do the, uh, the addition before you multiply. So what is this A and B we are talking about? A and B are the two parallel lines. You can name them anything, any letters. But for me, I name them A plus B, and that is what is found in the formula. So A plus B is this parallel line plus this parallel line, addition. So you're going to get A, that is area is equal to R times. What is A plus B? Let's first put multiplication. A plus B, 12 plus 18, and then the height is 4 centimeters. I want you to see that, Lana. Half times A plus B, and then on the other side, 4 centimeters. Remember what we did about board mass? That we are supposed to calculate what is in the brackets first. So brackets first comes first. So this is going to be area is supposed to half times. Now we are going to use this kind of multiplication. We remove the brackets to use this kind of multiplication. Times, what is here? 12 plus 18 which is 30, then times 4, by 2, 1, by 2, 2, this is going to give you 30 times 2, which is 60 centimeters squared. Do you remember that is what you got here, Alana? When you took the area of the triangle plus the area of the rectangle, we also got 60 centimeters squared. So this is exactly the formula that we are supposed to use to get that answer correct. So that's how we get it. Can give more examples. If we have another one, for example, you have given a trapezium, a shape like this, because you can be given a shape like this. You can be able to see that shape. See that shape, but this is dotted line, dotted like that. You are given this to be 28 centimeters, and this is 4 centimeters, 3 centimeters. This is uh, 4 centimeters. This is uh, this is 16 centimeters, and this is. 14 centimeters. You are asked to calculate the area of this 
particular uh, figure. You uh, calculate the area of this particular figure. So we have this figure here. There are two shapes here you can be able to see. This one is a, 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 a triangle. Then we have these two trapezia. Trapezia. The plural of, tra of trapezium is trapezia. One is trapezia. Trapezium. Many are called trapezia. Trapezia. So how can we be able to get the area of this shape? If you can see, this is a, a, a trapezium and a trapezium. Then we have this rectangle. So we can have this shape all the way from this end to the other end. So are we going to get that shape? We can divide this into two shapes. Let's see. We can have this as a rectangle, as a triangle, and then these two, these two shapes as one and two. First trapezium, next trapezium, and be able to calculate. Now this first shape looks like that, which has a, a base of this. The base will be this. The sum of this and this. So this is going to be seven centimeters, and the height is going to be four centimeters. Then we have the other two. Let's extract the other two. This one. Number one is going to be looking like that, which has a length of 28. Its height is going to be 4 centimeters, and this other side is going to be 14 centimeters. That is the first one. Then the second one is this one, which looks like this. Yes? So this is going to be 16 centimeters, and this is parallel to this. This is parallel to this. So the height, its height is 3 from here up to here. 3 centimeters. But they are sharing this, this distance. This one is shared by between this and this. So this remains the same, 28 centimeters. So if, if we extract them, they are going to be looking like that. So let's begin by getting the area of this. Area, this is a, a triangle. It's half times base, 7 times height. Four. This is going to give you 14 centimeters squared. We have gotten our shape, this one. We move to the next shape, number one, which is we labeled number one. This we labeled number two. So number one is going to be half. Area is going to be half times base. What is the not base? A plus B. Our A plus B. This is going to be 42 times the height four centimeters, like that. So we are going to divide them by 2, 1, by 2, 2. 42 times 2 is 84. So this is going to be 84 centimeters squared. Our shape number 2, we come to our shape number 2, which is half times, what is A plus B? A plus B are the parallel lines. A plus B is going to give you 44. 44 centimeters and the height is 3. Remember the height, this is 3 centimeters and this is 4. So they are different. We can't combine them. So by 2, 1, by 2, 11. Sorry, 22. 22 times 3 is going to be 66 centimeters squared. So for us to get the total area here, we are going to get the area of the triangle. The area of the triangle is 14 centimeters squared. We are going to add the area of the first trapezium. That is, we say, is 84 centimeters squared plus the area of the second trapezium, this one, which is going to be 66 centimeters squared. So the total area is going to be, if you add plus this, you get 150. 150 plus uh, 14 is going to be 164 centimeters squared. 164 centimeters squared. So that's how you can be able to do that learner. Let's try another way. So we have gone 164 centimeters squared. Let's try another way. Very fast. I want you to realize something. We decide to use this as a, our trapezium. From this end, going that end, going that end, going that end. So this is a trapezium, and this also. From here, all these being a, a trapezium. Let's see whether we can be able to get the same, the same uh, 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 area. So this one, two. So this has been combined in this first trapezium. This is going to be combined in the second trapezium. So this is going to be half times. What is A plus B? Remember our A in the first question 
we did up to there. So we are going to, because we have combined this, we are going to add this 28 plus 4. We are going to get that 2. And then our height is going to be this one, the perpendicular height, 4. And then the next one is going to be R times base. The base is going to remain 24, 28 plus 4. This is shared between this and this. So 4 plus 28, get that 2. But the height is going to change now. This is going to be 3. Let's see. By 2, 1, by 2, 16. By 2, 1, by 2, also 16. So 16 times 4, get 4, 64. Then 16 times 3, 8. This is going to be uh, uh, 48. If you add 48 here, you're going to get 2, 10, 11, 1, 12. I want you to see why this is wrong. Lana, I wanted you to see this is wrong. You don't combine this triangle with these trapeziums. You calculate the triangles alone and then the trapezium from here. Because, remember what we have said, a trapezium looks like this. A trapezium does not have two triangles. This one triangle and you combine with this other triangle. If you calculate it that way, you get it wrong. So a trapezium is going to have one triangle and a rectangle. And it's here. That is what we did. That is a rectangle and a triangle. But now when we calculated, including everything from here up to here, we added a, a triangle, a triangle, and a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a rectangle. That is very wrong. So we don't use that. So whenever you're given a shape like this, remove that to be on its own, then you remain with this trapezium. So that is what I wanted to show you. This has given us 112, whereas in the, in the first uh, calculation, we got 164. So you don't include... A trapezium doesn't have two triangles. It has only one triangle. So that's why you pick this out of this end. Calculate that alone. Then this alone. Then this alone. But this, remember this line is shared both by this trapezium and this trapezium. Because this is parallel. So when you are getting the A plus B, you get A plus B. Then on this side you get this A plus B. The same. But you reach up to that end. So, Lana, that is what I want you to see. So, if you, you get that, get it wrong. Don't do that. You extract this. Remember, we said we have two types of triangles. You can have this, a right angle triangle. Then we can have also this type of triangle, which has a, this is seven centimeters and this four. So, this is also a triangle, which you use the same formula you use here. So, it's just this one, then you add this one. You combine it here to get it like that. So that is what I wanted you to see, Lana. So there is an exercise in uh, in the book that I, I uh, primary maths. So I want you to attempt some questions there. I will do one, then leave the rest to you to be able to calculate. On page number. Page number 119, where various types of uh, topics. I'll do number 5A. Number 5A looks like this. And I want you to be careful with what I'm doing here. It looks like this. But I thought this is right angle. This is also right angle. There's a line here, a dotted line. This is giving you a right angle. From this line is 12 centimeters. And uh, this from here up to here is 3 centimeters. Then from here up to here is 4 centimeters. This is 5 centimeters up to there. Then this is also 5 centimeters. Then you ask, find the area of the shapes. This is the shape I'm going to because 5a so you don't repeat that 5a in your exercise so how i'm able to do this uh, uh, exercise so this trapezium a and trapezium b so let's begin with trapezium a it's always good if you extract it and draw it on its own our a looks like that i can draw it in that way or even we want it 
this this way it's going to be like this it's going to be like this yes this is going to be three centimeters this is a right angle meaning that this is the perpendicular height this is five centimeters and this is going to be 12 centimeters you can see it clearly i've removed it from here place it on its own so let's calculate the area of that one this is going to be r times a plus b a plus b are the sum of the parallel lines 12 plus 5 which is 17 and then times the height which is 3 this is going to give you to 1 the 1 over 2 the 1 over 2 is simply 25.5 or 25 and a half centimeters squared that is for the first one a okay. maybe extract the b and bring it here b looks like this b is this one the, 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 the height is 4 centimeters one of the sides the longer side is 12 centimeters the shorter side is 5 centimeters area r times base not base sorry a plus b gets 17 and the height is 4 you realize that it's only the, 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 the height that is different. Otherwise, if the, the, the height was the same. If this was 3 and this was 3, I will just do this one then multiply by 2. Because these and these are the same. If they are the same measurements, then. So this will give you what? 30, 34. Now that 4 centimeters squared. So the total area will be 25.5 plus 34.5. And that is going to be 59.5 centimeters squared. That is the area of this particular figure. So if this is 4 and this is 4, learn, don't get even uh, worried. Calculate one of them, multiply mod mod that by 2. Multiply that by 2 and you'll be able to get that area so well. So, learn that's where we are. We can be able to do uh, uh, some questions here. To remind ourselves what we have just done. So, exercise 77, primary mass, page, page 119, you do number one, A, B, C, D, and then number one, then number two, sorry, number one, Number four, this is number four. Number four, then number five, number five, B. Number four has A up to E. Number four, A to, A to E, then five, B. Do that, those questions. Then you can also add a few questions. That is exercise 17. This is exercise 77. Let me write for you well. Size 77, number 4, A up to E, then number 5, exercise 78, number 1, up to number 3, number 1 to 3. Practice using these questions, and if you experience any difficulties, kindly do the necessary. Post it on the wall, you'll be able to see that. So immediately you have finished your work, you post to my to my wall, my FB, my, my, my WhatsApp wall, and be able to mark for you so that I see the progress that you have made. Otherwise, 